think it's, it's got to stay almost exactly uh, to that picture. I think uh, we, we came with them really hard when we were in Arizona last week, and I think we want to do the same thing. Obviously, we know they're going to want to come in and, and not take us lightly, obviously, because of what happened last week. But I think we'll be ready. I think we're feeling good about our game, feeling confident. So uh, it'll be a good one tonight. No Jacob Markstrom, but I know you guys have complete confidence in the, the goalies that are here. Uh, just a, a thought on, on losing the goaltender who's been your MVP and, uh, and trying to rally around that. Yeah, obviously, Mark, he's been unbelievable for us all season. He's, he's one of the best goalies in the league for a reason, and, and, and he's been so good. But having Vladdy come in, he's, he's an unbelievable goalie as well. So uh, nothing really changes, right? We have confidence in whoever's behind us, and, and we know we have to just play to our same structure and, and, and play our game, and everything's going to be fine, and Vladdy's going to be there for us. So um, at the end of the day, it, nothing nothing really changes for us. I know you guys take it one game at a time, but when you have some, a half dozen games and then an all-star break, are you guys able to isolate the stretch and be like, okay, hey, go hard? 100 percent yeah it's uh it's one of the most consistent two-week stretches over the whole season here we play tuesday thursday saturday tuesday thursday saturday all at home so i think for us it's going to be huge to kind of just try and take it one game at a one game at a time not not really look at the big picture six games because that can kind of get daunting especially when everything's at home you don't really have anything breaking up so i think we just take it kind of one day one skate at a time is, is how we just look at it and and uh, go from there how have you been able to manage the hype around your performance? And people are talking about you as like a kid of the year candidate. How do you manage all that noise? Or yeah, for me, it's just it's whatever. I I don't really care. It's just coming to the rink and and having fun and, and playing hockey. I think. You see those things, you hear those things, and, and you kind of don't really look twice at it. It's just like, whatever, that's that's not going to happen. So and you just come and play hockey. So, Is, is there a part of you that does kind of start dancing around, like a Calder Canada type of thing? Or? Uh, same kind of thing, I think. Same same thing for me. It's just <laughs> coming in and playing hockey. I don't think that, that matters too much to, to me. I'm just, you know, it's every day is kind of... Uh, lucky to just be in the NHL and, and kind of playing day in and day out, and so that's kind of what I focus on. What about the uh, Connor McZerry nickname? <laughs> uh, it's it's all right. I, that's what Marky likes to call me some days, but um, it, it's funny. It is what it is. Obviously, um, it's just just a nickname. That's really all. When you do have six games at home, you mentioned it's two weeks. There's a routine here. Like, what's the best part about it? Is it going grocery shopping? Like, is it just like living <laughs> yeah. a normal life? Yeah, I think it's just that that day-to-day -day consistency. You know, you you get to bed at, even when I, you have a game, 11:30, 12. So, uh, I think that's that's the biggest part is is staying consistent throughout your whole routine, your your body, your mind. It's it makes things a little bit simpler and a, and a little bit easier. And it's always nice to to play in front of a home crowd day in day out.